improvements are being made in Perry County, but it doesn't come without some headache. Bridge construction continues on Old River Road, but a lot of folks are not happy with the 20 mile detour that they have to take to get to New Augusta. Our Hannah Hayes visited the construction site and has more from the sheriff there. What used to be a 10 minute visit to New Augusta has now turned into a 25 minute trek. This detour is due to the closure on Old River Road. Naturally, this is upsetting for the residents in this area who take daily trips to New Augusta. Anybody that lives over on that side of the river, and of course I, I'm, I'm one that that's where I live, is on the other side of that river. And uh, it does make it a little inconvenient because we do have to travel a little bit, probably about 20 miles out of the way to come to New Augusta. The road has not always been closed during this time of construction. Sheriff Noble says this closing is temporary and will be worth it once the bridge is built. You know, I know that it is an inconvenience for the people of Perry County, especially the residents that live around there that do business in New Augusta and uh, but just be patient you know be patient once it's all completed I think it, I think the residents over there is going to be really happy with the new bridge that they got. The good news is during emergency situations there are exceptions in place. We have made an agreement with uh, with the uh, construction managers that on 911 purposes for medical or, or for emergency calls, we can, they will make it, they will open it up for us to be able to go through so we don't have to go the long route. The closure is expected to come to an end within the next few weeks, weather permitting, of course. We've had a couple rainy days, in, uh, which I know that uh, they're dealing with the red clay, so it gets really, really muddy through that area, so I know they can't do a whole lot of work when it rains, but I don't think we've had but just a couple of days that they've had delayed, pretty, pretty much steady headed every day working on it. In Perry County, Hannah Hayes, WDAM7, on your side. And if the construction continues at this current pace, the sheriff believes the road could be open again in about six weeks or so.